You know the old saying, the more things change, the more things stay the same? Well, that doesn't apply to tower climbing. Here's what I mean. The FCC is going to auction off a large amount of the TV broadcast spectrum for wireless applications. That will lead to a lot of work needing to be done on tall broadcast towers due to the relocation of TV stations to different channels. This is being called the broadcast repack. With all this upcoming work, many climbers will be getting onto tall towers for the first time. Even though the rigging and work on tall broadcast towers is similar to smaller towers, the enormous scale of that environment creates its own set of rules. Even day-to-day -day climbing and work on these impressive structures can be challenging. All right, guys, so we're heading to the top of this bad boy. First of all, we're gonna get in this elevator and they've been known to be a little sketchy. Tell me about what we need to look out for. First of all, we need to locate the safety manual and obey all posted placards. Lots of times these safety controls either don't work or they're on the ground only. So the guy on the ground today is gonna to be running it for us. All right, here we are, nice and cozy, huh? Yes, sir, we've already gone through all the controls, made sure everything works properly. We want to test our limit switches, make sure that they're all working properly. Okay. See this one up here, that's taped open. That's bad news. Bad. If that's open, you can ride with the door open, and there are cross braces. They're going to be crossing two inches in front of your face as we go up. Oh. If your toes are hanging out. Goodbye, toes. See you later. So we just jump in? Or... No, sir. I have to do an unmanned <laughs> test first. Go ahead and send her up. 10 4, coming up. So what else is vital to know before we get in this? We always head up with two men, right? Okay. Every time, the communication is key. We both want to have radios just in case something happens up there. Fair enough. So now we know that it's essentially safe. Let's do it. All right. All right, we're in. Send us up. 10-4, coming up. Now, not all towers have these lifts or elevators. In that case, it can take two to three hours or more just to climb to the top. And because safety climb systems have been beat up by mother nature or aren't even present, you might be double hooking all the way. You'll have to seriously consider such things as the tools and materials you'll need up top, food and water, the weather, and your physical condition. When it comes to structural modifications, the scope of work can be much more complex on tall broadcast towers than for smaller, wireless towers. The project can last several weeks or even several months, and because the modifications may have a critical sequence of steps, follow engineering instructions and properly plan the work is crucial. Let's review. Broadcast repack requirements mean that a lot of eager they're going to be able to live out their dreams of climbing up big iron. And even up here at 2,000 feet, when it's totally socked in, it's an absolutely incredible view. Before you go up, make sure your employer provides you with the proper training and qualifications you'll need to do the work on these massive structures. It's a totally different world up here, and it comes with its own set of rules. So know them and respect them. If you don't, the tower might have the last word. Stay safe, my friends.